You should never listen to those people who tell you what you should and should not do. There's plenty of them and they're always around you when you're trying to do these things that you love. My name is Omar Samra. I am the CEO and founder of Wild Guanabana. I am an adventurer and also a future astronaut. I spent most of the early adult life working in the financial world. Um, it kind of was, you know, sort of ate up my soul very slowly. And I knew for a very long time that that's not what I wanted to do for a living. It's not something that fulfilled me or inspired me. It was then in a, in a, in a later part of my life that I discovered the mountains. Through that, I set myself the goal of wanting to become the first Egyptian to climb Mount Everest. It's something that I achieved in 2007 and then went on to do um, a host of other adventures, skiing to the North Pole, the South Pole, climbing the Seven Summits. Uh, doing first ascents in Antarctica, things like that. What these experiences ended up doing for me is that they actually really solidified and strengthened my relationship with nature. Um, and that allowed me to spend great amounts of time on my own uh, with other people trying to go to these like faraway places, which told me a lot about myself, about the things that I'm good at, but also the things that I'm not so good at. In the world around us, there's a lot of problems in the fact that people have been so disconnected from nature, which is kind of our natural habitat as human beings. And that has a, a multitude of issues in terms of health, in terms of psychology, and, and so many other things. And so I wanted to reconnect people with nature, but I also wanted to to take people on these adventures that sim similar to the adventures that I had started doing that had such an impact on my life, more than traditional education, more than my corporate uh, career, and so that they can understand more about the world but also themselves. One of the biggest things that I learned through my adventures is to appreciate the very, very simple things in life. You know, here I am on Mount Everest for 65 days. Um, everything is hard, you know, breathing is hard, eating is hard. And then when you go through this really intense experience, and then you come back to your daily life, you get to appreciate all the things that you sometimes take for granted. So I think that is something that definitely left a huge mark in my life and it uh, plays a role in, in my professional life as well. Um, the other thing which obviously was very, something that I learned through these adventures, because at the end of the day, you are the only one that knows your full potential. You're the only one that knows how far you can actually go. And in most cases, we do ourselves a disservice by not trying to do the things that we want to do and just accept that maybe we can't do them. And so I've learned through these adventures is to, you know, set myself these big goals and just throw myself into them and to try, because at the end of the day, success is not reaching the summit. Uh, or reaching that goal that you've planned for yourself, but it's actually about doing your best. And so the problem with life is that we, we create a lot of pressure for ourselves and to, to succeed, to, you know, to, to do X number of profits, to do, you know, there's a certain measures of success that we have to follow. But actually, we all know that like probably 99.9% .9 of things that happen in the world are out of our control. And the only things that are in our control are the things, what, I, what action I decide to do at this point in time right now in the present moment. And so if you can think about that, it's actually extremely empowering because all you have to worry about is one thing, which is the present moment. And if you just take a model of, I'm gonna wake up every single day and just do my best, wherever that best gets me, and be fine with that, then, then that's, I think, then you have succeeded, I think, no matter what the outcome is. So I've been asked a lot the question of like, why do I wanna go to space? I think the, the answer that always comes to me, which is kind of borrowed from, question that was asked one day to a, an explorer that wanted to go to Everest and he said it's just because it's there. And I think human beings in general have this curiosity to explore, to want to go beyond. And that's the thing, that's the instinct that has differentiates us from, from any other species on this planet and that's the thing that has propelled us forward. You know, as long as we, we live, we need to keep aspiring to push forward, to push our own boundaries, our own limits uh, for ourselves, but also to inspire the next generations. And uh, coming from a country where no uh, other Egyptian has gone to space, I would very much like to, to go to hopefully inspire more Egyptians to pursue this as a career path or pursue this as a, an aspiration because that is where the future is going as we can all see around us today. But also because I think it would be uh, super cool to do that. And, and I think what is the point of life if it's not uh, joy? and getting happiness out of it. And that's being in space or thinking about going to space is something that makes me happy.